Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, we will see how you can use WhatsApp Cloud API with Pavli Connect to automate your WhatsApp related tasks. So WhatsApp Cloud API is the official API service of WhatsApp created by Meta. And using it, you can actually send or receive messages on your WhatsApp account. So here how it is going to work and how you can use it with Pavli Connect to automate it. Let's see. So here guys, you can see that we have created a workflow inside Pavli Connect. So let's start with our trigger window. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for WhatsApp Cloud API. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as message notification. By selecting this trigger event, it will basically give us a message notification. It will send us some data that whenever a message is sent, delivered or received on our Cloud API account. So just select the trigger event. And after selecting a trigger event, here you can see that Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, you can connect your WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pavli Connect. And how you can make this connection? Here the help text says, please follow the steps explained under WhatsApp Cloud API notification section here. So here in the help text, you can see a hyperlink. Just click on that link and it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you will see all the details regarding WhatsApp Cloud API. And when you will scroll down, here you can see in section named as WhatsApp Cloud API Notifications. And under it, you can see a step-by-step -step guide that how you can set up the trigger of WhatsApp Cloud API using this webhook URL. So let's see. Now here you can see this webhook URL. You just have to copy this webhook URL from here. And after copying it, just go to your Cloud API account. Now after creating our WhatsApp Cloud API account, we have reached to this app dashboard page. If you haven't created your WhatsApp Cloud API account yet, don't worry, we have a separate dedicated video on that too, on how you can set up your Cloud API account. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. After creating this account and reaching to this app dashboard, on the left side here you can see some options under WhatsApp. Out of which, just click on this configurations button over here. After coming to this configurations page, here you can see that I have already added a webhook URL over here. Now here guys, you can just change the webhook URL. So I'll just click on this edit button. I will just clear the existing webhook URL and we are going to paste the same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us in the trigger window. Just copy it from here and paste it over here in this callback URL section. Then it is asking us a verify token. Now here, what is the verify token and how you can get that? So as I told you on this page on our forum where we have given the step-by-step -step guide, here you can see that it is clearly written, we have to enter this text as the verified token. Just copy this text from here, Pavli FB Webhook Token, and then just paste it over here. After pasting this, just click on this verify and save button. And then we can see that this Webhook URL is added on our WhatsApp Cloud API account. And we have connected Cloud API with Pavli Connect in this trigger window using the Webhook URL. Now, every time we receive a new notification, new message notification, a message is sent, delivered, or received on our Cloud API account, we will get those details inside Pavli Connect. So in this way, you can set up the message notification. You can basically set up the WhatsApp Cloud API trigger over here. Now, after setting up this trigger, let's test this trigger one. So we will just go to my WhatsApp web account, and then we are going to send a message, a WhatsApp message, on the same number which I have registered with WhatsApp Cloud API. So my WhatsApp account is open and this is the chart of the registered WhatsApp Cloud API number. So here I'm going to send a message, for example, hello, we are just testing. So this is the message which I'm going to send. Just click on the send button. And right now a message is sent on the same number which I have registered with WhatsApp Cloud API. And because we have connected the WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pavli Connect using the Webhook URL, we will see the message which we have just now sent. The same message details will be received inside of a Pavli Connect trigger window as well. And yes, guys, here you can see that in our Pavli Connect trigger window, we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the same details over here as well. So here you can see that we have received the text message. We have the timestamp that at what date and time this message was received. We have the sender's phone number, WhatsApp number basically, and also the body of the text message which they have sent. So in this way guys, you can see that we have successfully received the messages which the users or the customers were sending us on our Cloud API account inside Pavli Connect. 
Now, after setting up this trigger, guys, what we have to do, we have to move to actions. So in this way, you can set up the trigger and get the messages or notifications inside Pavli Connect from your Cloud EPA account. Now, let's move to action step. And here in action step, once again, search for WhatsApp Cloud API. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, we have two different action events for WhatsApp Cloud API. First one is the send message template action. And second one is send text message action. So let's start with send message template. Just select it, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here in the action window, we have to connect our WhatsApp Cloud API account once again. And this time to make the connection, we have to enter the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID of our Cloud API account. So guys here, you must be thinking from where you can get all of these details. So you can get the phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID from app dashboard page of Cloud API. Just go to the app dashboard page, go to this getting started section. And here at this page, you can see the phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID of your Cloud API account. Just copy these details from here and paste it over here in this public and connection window. And then it is also asking us for the token. But the token which we get on this WhatsApp Cloud API dashboard page is a temporary access token. Now this means this token will expire every 24 hours. But don't worry guys, there is a way by which you can generate a permanent access token which will never expire. So here guys, in the same forum page of Pavli Connect, where we have added all the details for WhatsApp Cloud API, you can see there is a video. You can just refer to this video, come to this page, refer to this video, and you will see a step-by-step -step guide on how you can generate a permanent access token for WhatsApp Cloud API. You can refer to that video, generate the permanent access token, and after generating the token, here you can see that you just have to enter that token over here. By entering that token over here and clicking on save, you will connect your WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pavli Connect. So enter the permanent access token, phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID to connect your Cloud API account with Pavli Connect in the action step. Right now in this video, I'm just selecting my existing connection, which I've already made, and we will click on save. After clicking on save, here you can see that the first thing it asks us is the template name. So after connecting our Cloud API account, the first thing it is asking is template name. And here you must be thinking, what is this template? So template is basically a predefined WhatsApp message, which we have already created in our Cloud API account. So to initiate a conversation with any of our WhatsApp user to send the message first, we have to create a template message in our Cloud API account. And then we have to get that template approved from Facebook or should I say meta. And once our message template is approved, you can use that template message to send messages to your customers or users using WhatsApp Cloud API. So in the drop down below template name, you can see a list of all the templates which we have already created inside Cloud API. So you can use any template among all of these to send the messages. And to create a new template according to your choice, you just have to go to this app dashboard page, scroll down, come to this step two, and at last, here you can see a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to the message template page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And here in this page, you can see a list of all the templates which you have created on your Cloud API account can be seen over here. By clicking on this create template merge button, you can actually create, start creating the message template of your choice. And then after creating the template, you can basically add variables or dynamic text or images or headers in that template as well. Now, if you want to learn how you can create a message template of your choice, we have a dedicated video on template creation inside WhatsApp Cloud API too. And the link of that video will also be in the description box below. You can refer to the video and learn how you can generate WhatsApp message template inside Cloud API. So here guys, in this video, just for an example, we will have a look on this template named as exam application gen. So here, this is a template which I have created. And here you can see that this is the message which I want to send. So this message says, hello, Demi dear. And here in the body section, you will see there is a number added in double curly braces. Now you will think, what are these numbers? In this complete body of the message, I have added these numbers in double curly braces multiple times. Here is one, here is two, and here is three. So guys, in this WhatsApp message, after the dear, I wanted to mention a name of the person, but the name of the person will be keep on changing for every new message I send to my users. So this means the name of the person is a dynamic text. It's a variable. 
And to add these kind of dynamic text, add these kind of variables in our template message, we add this body field, we add this variable. So we write numbers in double curly braces and the text in place of these numbers can be entered inside Pabli Connect. So this is the kind of message which I have created. Dear, after dear, we will be mentioning the name of the user. Then this message says, just a reminder, your application is due on. And here in the two section, we wanted to mention some date. And the date will be also keep on changing. So we have added another body field, another variable over here. We will not be able to accept any application for. And here we have the name of the examination over here for MedSAM exam. The name of the examination will be key also keep on changing. So we have added another variable, the third variable in this message. Exam went after this date. So submit your application as soon as possible. Thanks, regards. So here, guys, this is the kind of message I have created, message template. You can basically create any message template of your choice and add as many variables as you want according to your requirement. So we are taking an example of this message template, exam underscore application underscore gen. So let's select this template in Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect from the drop down below template name, we will be selecting exam underscore application underscore gen. Just select the template. After selecting your template message, the language code and template ID are automatically detected. So you don't have to actually make any changes over here. And then it asks us recipient mobile number. Now here guys, in this field of recipient mobile number, as you can guess, we have to enter the WhatsApp number of the user to whom we want to send the messages using Cloud API and this automation. And the help text below it says, enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign. Example this. So we have to enter the mobile number of the user to whom we want to send the WhatsApp message with country code but without the plus sign. So here I'm just going to send enter the mobile number of my account. But here I have manually entered it. But instead of this, you can also map the response of some other application from triggers or the above steps over here. After entering the recipient mobile number, here it is asking us body field 1, body field 2 and body field 3. So in our template message, we have created three different body fields. We have added three variables. And what is the text which we want to put in place of these body fields, these variables in the message which we are sending? We have to enter that text over here. For example, in this video, I'm just taking example of the same name, demo dummy. We are using the same date. And then here I'm just entering the same exam name as well. And after entering the text in place of these body fields, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here we have received some response in the action window. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the template message which we have selected is been sent with this all of these details on the same number which we have entered in the recipient mobile number field. So let's check it. We will go to a WhatsApp account. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same message, the same template message which we have created is been sent to us on our WhatsApp number. So in this way, guys, you can see that we have successfully added this action event. You can use this action event of WhatsApp Cloud API of send template message inside Pabli Connect. Now, after this, let's move to our second action event, which we had that is send text message. So you can use this send text message action event without any template creation. But for that, the customer or the user needs to initiate the conversation you first. So whenever the user will initiate the conversation with you, they will send you a WhatsApp message. Then after that, you can use this action event to send the messages. So let's select this action event, click on connect, select the existing connection and click on save. And after clicking on save, here you can see that this action event only asks us two things, the recipient mobile number to whom we want to send the message and the WhatsApp message. So here guys, in the recipient mobile number, once again, we are going to enter the same mobile number. And then here in message section, let's enter the message as hello. This is a real time test. And then let's hit on this save and send test request button. Now after clicking on save and send test request, here we have received a response. And then you can see the same message is once again sent to the same mobile number which we have entered over here. As you can see over here, the same message is received. Now this is because first we have initiated the conversation. First the user has sent you a message, they have initiated a conversation with you. That is why you can use this action event to send the message only in that condition. Otherwise to initiate a conversation with your users first, you have to basically first create a template message and then you have to send that particular template message to the users only. 
So in this way, you can use WhatsApp Cloud API inside Pavli Connect and automate your WhatsApp rated tasks. So we have seen what are the triggers and actions WhatsApp Cloud API offers inside Pavli Connect. And there is one bonus tip guys. Here you will notice I have actually turned off this automation workflow. Now this is because if you use the WhatsApp Cloud API message notification trigger and send message action in the same automation workflow, it will basically create a loop. It will keep on sending the WhatsApp message from the action and after sending the message, we will get the response in the trigger window of the message notification. And once again, this automation workflow will be executed, it will be initiated and then again, we will be creating a loop that of sending the messages, receiving the notification and then automation workflow is executed. So once again, we will be keep on sending the messages. So it is just a suggestion that do not use this trigger and the action in the same automation workflow without any adding any kind of filter condition or any other application. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others and to get such more content on automation and integration, subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video guys. Thank you. Have a great day.